Hello everyone, let's just start part 4. In this part, I will explain about the mailing list with the mailman and the chapter 10, the web mail with the scooter mail and the chapter 11, the first fix monitoring with mail graph. Okay, chapter 9, the mailing list with the mailman. Mailman is a very popular open source package for managing email discussion list. We call normally this one mailing list. And the mailman normally offer the flexible administrative interfaces for setting up the managing list. Normally this one used the web-based interface. And then using this kind of the web-based interface, it makes easy for people to join the list, access the discussion list, and uh, tune their own the preferences. So if we use this mailman, it is very easy to control many the users to register to your mailing list. So number two, mailman configuration first to try to install. You mean the mailman, and after that you have to check rpmq grab mailman normally the mailman use web server so you have to start web server service httpd restart and the b for the mailman the configuration we need this kind of process first one usr library mailman here you can find all the binary file for mailman so first start this one mm site pass this one will be the administrative the password to control mailman so here decide exact email address and password for administrator of mailman the c us open first one mailman the this file python file so here please check the three car three line first one email host the default in my case chal.com and the default url host this one in my case www.chal.com so to configure like this please check your name server to support this kind of domain or not and the mta must be the post fix not send mail so here please uh, change if you find the send mail and after that d http configuration here you can find this file mailman come so please activate this line so when you access the mailman you have to the remember this pass in the browser Okay, number E, check for update and the permissions. So after installation, we can use this one. The update button is there or not. And the permission as well. So you have to, you, you can use the, this commission, this uh, command. Then this uh, command will check, exact the permission for each directory and files. F, the mailman aliases and the database. So normally, Mailman use aliases. So here you can find it to see mailman aliases. So uh, if you use this command, then this command will create two file aliases and alias.db like this. G create mailman site. So if we are the conflict to configure the especially the general options, then now in the G we can start to create mailing list so first one usr library mailman bin here you can use this command new list and the mailman is the the name of the mailing list and after that the enter the email of the person learning the list it means administrative the email address for this mailing list and password and the uh, if you don't want to create or if you want to delete this kind of mailing list then you can use this one rm list hyphen a and mailing list name like this and the h integrate mailman and post pics so in the first fix the first fix must acknowledge this the mailman so here 
alias maps, etc, aliases, and etc may men, alias stand, the first fix will acknowledge this aliases of mailman as well. And after that, F server restart and mailman start. And if we want to the access the mailman, then we can use this path in the browser. Okay, number three, testing. So we can access here first one. If you will access this pass mailman, the list info, then here we can see the mailing list information. And the set of different options for each mailing list. And if you are looking to the administrator of this uh, the mailing list, then here we can configure the send filters, members management, and privacy options. Especially in my case, I will create two the mailing list, mailman and test here. So here, send the filters. So in these uh, options, you can uh, define who can post the message to the list. Is it the moderate or unmoderate? Moderate is a kind of duty the administrator for this the mailing list and the membership management here we can define the members can see other members information or policies for adding or removing members like this and some user if someone want to become the member of the subscriber of this mailing list then here mailman list info test so here we can uh, register as a new subscriber d privacy options so here there are two kinds total three kind first one confirm second require approval and the third mix confirm and require approval if new subscriber the register to this mailing list then First one, check a new subscribe email. So in this case, the this one, uh, confirm in case of confirm, the first fix will send email to new subscribers email. Then the new subscriber check this email. Then this one will be registered to this mailing list require approval in this case the administrators please check the administrator's email then administrator will check the new email from new subscriber and the administra uh, administrator the approve this email then this uh, new subscriber will be registered to the mailing list and they can use this mailing list and the e posting mail to all mailing list users so now if a new subscriber is successful to become the member of this the mailing list then he can use the this kind of mail list in my case test actual.com so if this new user send the email to this mail address then all users will receive this email because they are member of the this mailing list okay then let's uh, test here okay first let's check the package mailman so in my case i already install so in your case if you don't have just install like this mailman okay in my case i <coughs> received uh, this kind of message because i already installed okay and after that service httpd restart Okay, and after that, USR library mailman. So here there are many the directories. So let's check first the bin here. Okay, so in my case, uh, I will use the uh, okay this one first one. I will delete list. Okay, 
okay and after that the uh, test as well okay then now let's just start mm site pass so new site password in my case okay password change and after that so here there are so many files in this directory so here cfg.py Python file so here let's check the host okay uh, in my case the line number 86 the default URL host so in my case I'm using this one www.chol.com and the email host will be chol.com and the next line and the line number 101 here MTA must be first fix okay please change like this and uh, it is C and after that so here mailman.com so here please check the line number 26 redirect match mailman here mailman listing for this one will be the pass in the browser to check the mailing list information and uh, access control as well like uh, allow from all and allow from all like this okay then uh, we normally the conflict and again usr mailman bin okay first let's check the update so now no necessary and after that check the permission hyphen f so in my case now the mailman alias is the db permission must be like this okay then let's check the okay, okay before this one let's check the alias is first like this okay then it is c mailman so there are two here aliases and aliases db like this okay then we are normally the successful so now here let's try to make a mailing list first one new list so mailman is a default the mailing list so here email so in my case tland chal.com and the mailman password okay I created two the password like this and after that I will create one more test okay the password is uh, us uh, username is the same and the password here test one two three four test one two three four uh, sorry here uh, okay so now I create the to the mailing list so if you are successful to create the uh, to the mailing list then let's check the no 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 VAR spool mailman so here uh, okay archive news so so here list so if you are successful to create two the in my case I created two list so here you can check list so I create two mailman and test okay now let's go the post fix 
the main data CF. So here, please check the aliases. Okay, uh, in my case, line number 403. So here, ETC mailman aliases. Okay, line number 403, so here you have to check ETC mailman aliases. So the first fix will the read this file to send or receive the email. Okay, then we are successful to configure. So here, PD restart. Service mailman restart as well. So, first check the process. So, now mailman is running. Okay, now let's try to use mailman. Okay, so here first. Charl.com mailman. So, okay, so now I found the two kinds, the list. So mailman and test. Okay, first let's go to test. So here we can subscribe. For example, in my case, I will uh, subscribe char.com and uh, Linux junk like this. And the password Linux1234. Linux 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now subscribe. Okay, and uh, okay, one more. Okay, and after that, test again. So here I will send the uh, Chong, chal.com, and uh, just the Chong, and the password, Chong1234, Chong1234, okay, subscribe. Okay, now I uh, subscribe to users, and let's go to the test administrator the interface so list the administrator password okay in my case okay so I the access to administrative the uh, page for here test mailing list okay let's check the here especially Okay, first this one is a general option. So, okay, so here uh, public name of this list will be the test and the uh, list administrator email address this one. Okay, how about the Okay, description here test list for okay like this okay the others you can the change or you can the maintain this uh, uh, default okay and after that let's go to the especially the private options here okay private options so there are the three kind the confirm require approval like this okay so now default is a confirm so let's try to use the, this one okay bribers the okay, rules okay in this case in this case let's go to the membership the management so even if two users subscribe 
to this mailing list but uh, in the uh, membership management we cannot okay then let's check the mail here uh, okay this one okay let's go to the client system so now here first one linuxchurl.com so linuxchurl.com received this email confirm email from the test request chur.com okay so here let's check so you can see this kind of email from the test the chur.com to linux so here Let's click linuxjong.com. So here, subscribe to list test. Okay, one more thing. This one is a jongchol.com. So this one as well. Receive this email. So here, please click this URL. Okay, then this one will be, I think this one, the Windows has a problem in the URL. Okay, then let's go back here okay so now let's check membership list so the linuxchurl.com you can see this uh, URL because this one send the checking or confirm the uh, email to the this one tlan uh, no no test mailing list but uh, in case of the John received this email but if I click this one will go to the the other you are because of the problem of the DNS okay anyway now this uh, Tland Tland is uh, the administrator of this one okay so here let's uh, change the privacy options for example okay here now is a confirm so now i will change to require approval and after that the submit okay and then one more here okay let's just check the here so here let's uh, man, man so let's go to test so email in my case here okay linux and the admin kim okay then okay, let's click admin com and just admin and the password admin one two three four and admin one two three four okay subscribe okay and again uh, i will use uh, kim com and just kim and the password kim1234 kim1234 okay and subscribe okay then let's go to the administrative interface so in my case okay so here in the client <coughs> sorry in the client the host the client so i access to the mailman address admin the page so here uh, let's check the membership management so now i have only one linuxshell.com but the two user admin and the Kim already subscribe but here I cannot see because let's go to the server and uh, this one the, the tland so <coughs> oh sorry so here tland chol.com this is a uh, admin the uh, email address of the test mailing list so here test received here for example here let's check so now admin the test chart.com so here let's go to admin page so here 
I'll receive the kimchol.com adminchol.com. So here, approve and approve. Okay, then submit all data. Okay, let's go to the members page again. Here, so here I can see admin Kim Linux as well. Okay, so the these three members is become the member of this testing test the mailing list. Okay, then let's uh, check the here. So in the now Linux user Linux and the admin and the Kim now become so now the admin also receive this uh, welcoming message from the test okay kim as well so welcoming message from the test and the linux as well okay so now here so welcoming message so now let's uh, send the email uh, okay first the linux here write email so here to the sender will be test and the domain chol.com and the subject uh, mailing list testing so here this is mailing list testing mail from Linux. Okay, and after that, let's send. Okay, so now the Linux user send email to the test at chol.com. So now Linux user receive this one, send the Linux and the receiver mail here test chol.com. And the admin also receive this email from Linux user and the Kim as well receive this email from linux so if the user register to here okay let's then one more user okay itc in my case i will use uh, okay so here let's go the test so email address itc char.com okay. okay here itc and password itc1234 itc1234 so subscribe okay then the in the sub part here let's check this one is uh, the tland email address so here he received from Kim. Okay, again, send and receive. So now he received the email from ITC. Okay, let's go to test. So here, if I check the approve, then this ITC will be member of this mailing list. Okay, so meet all data. Okay, then here, let's check the admin page and membership. Management. So here I can see the usual ITC like this. Okay, so this is a is a mailman as a mailing list. So you, if you want to configure or to start a mailing list, I recommend you to use mailman. Okay, then the, let's go to the webmail with the squirrel mail. So, Squirrel Mail is a standard based web mail package written in PHP. And normally, this uh, Squirrel Mail support IMAP and SMTP protocol. So, if you are using the POP3, in this case, the Squirrel Mail cannot support. So, please use IMAP. In my case, now I'm supporting IMAP and uh, POP3 together using code and uh, this one normally all pages will be the render using the HTML 4.0 and the maximum comfortability across all kinds of the 
browsers. So this one, the web uh, SQL mail is very uh, normally need only the few requirement and easy to configure and install. And uh, this SQL mail as well support the uh, MIME and address books and the spell checker template and the theme and the folder many many kinds. So if you want to know or get more information, please access this the official website of Scrumay. So to install this one first, you have to install this one, this package EPEL release. So please download here and have that installed like this and have that checking. Uh, to use uh, Scrumme, we need this kind of prerequisite package such as HTTPD, PHP, and PARPAR. So please check this kind of package first. So now you can install Scrum Mail and uh, check it. And the web server start as well. Number three, configuration PHP first for file attachment. So PHP must support file attachment in the default file here, etc, PHP, and so file upload on and upload maximum file size here we can define. The default is a two megabyte, but I will change to five megabyte. And after that, the configuring screw mail, first one screw mail, uh, conf in the uh, web servers the configuration directory so here so here just checking here allow from all for the access list and after that only the start web server and uh, you can uh, after you configure this kind of things you can check in this URL localhost webmail slc config test.php then this one will show you the information about the scrum especially like a php web server or imap like this and the scrum configuration so please go to this uh, URL, uh, the directory scrum mail config and start conf.pl so here there are around the nine or ten the menu or items but here we have two need to configure two as a different organization preference and the server setting and uh, this if we the complete to configure here then this uh, content will be saved here it is scrum mail config.php then we can access here chal.com web mail adding scrum mail the plugin so scrum mail support many kinds of the plugin so Please download some plug you want to install here, and after that, move this plugin to to this directory. Then, if you start this uh, configuration command, then this one will acknowledge this plugin. Okay, then let's uh, try this one. Scroll mail. Okay, let's go to server package here server client host name is a server so let's check first the package scrum mail okay in my case i already installed so please the check and if you don't have just install like this is easy scrum mail like this so in my case, I already installed. Okay, and after that, the service HTTPD restart. Okay, and after that, php.ini. Please check the here, file upload on and upload maximum file. So in my case, I will change it. This one, now default is a two megabyte, but I will change it five megabyte. Okay, and after that, it is C Okay, please check the here. Skitter mail come. So especially so like this. Deny from all. Okay, here let's check. Allow from all here when mail. And uh, please uh, the 
check the, this one as well. So normally the web mail use HTTP as not HTTP. Okay, then service HTTPD restart. Okay, then here let's uh, test. So in my case, I uh, will use uh, this URL localhost webmail src config test. So if you are successful to configure scrum mail, so in this URL you can see this kind of information scrum mail versions and the PHP and the path is okay and the mail server in my case the mail service here SMTP and IMAP as well. So if you are successful to see this game information, you are your the web the web mail access will be successful. So even if you see this kind of error, it's okay. Okay, then let's uh, okay and one more thing config usi share. Okay. So here, please go to config. So here you can find this file. Okay, let's start conf.pl. So here there are the 10 menus. So even if you don't configure that things, please try to configure number one and number two. Okay, first here, command one. So here you can see this kind of option. So if we want to change here, in my case, organization name is knowledge is power, but at first time you will see only the screen mail like this. And the logo title, uh, okay, let's uh, change the number four, the organization title. So it might get screen mail button, but here K, I'll change K power like this. Enter. Then organization title is a K power like this. And the provider name as well. Okay, let's check the number eight. The default is Zhang Char, but I will change Squitter mail like this. Okay, enter. Then can see this one okay if you the complete to change this menu then s i mean the save and after that r okay r okay then let's go to number two here so here domain in my case will be the local host and input time for this send mail was made. So uh, if we are using the send mail, then you have to choose number one. Then you can see send mail. But in my case, I will use the SMTP. So three, and in my case, SMTP number two. Okay, so change like this. And uh, here, so if you select like this, local host 104, in my case, the top code is supporting IMAP and the SMTP forced to fix so using the port number 25. Okay, save. Again, okay, have that R. So the others number from number three to number 10, you can uh, uh, change the other things. But now here, just I will use them only two menus, number one and number two. Okay, S and Q. Q. So we are, I successful to complete this one. Okay, then now access try to here. Local host. Okay, so in my case, now I have a Kim. Uh, Kim, okay, password Kim, one, two, three, four. Okay, login. So now Kim have uh, this kind of the web mail, the interface. So here, okay, let's try to uh, here the default menu like this inbox, draft, send, and the trash. So and uh, this kind of menu is compose address, address here. So normally uh, the screener may support address book as well. And the other options such like this compose. So here let's test the compose first. Two in my case, okay, you try to use a tland char.com and the cc will be linux char.com and the subject 
when mail testing. Okay, so here this is web mail testing from from Kim okay. char.com. Okay, then uh, here and uh, how about the file attachment here? Okay, let's just check this one to browse. So in my case, I will uh, attach one file here. Okay, so you can see this one. Okay, the maximum is a five. Okay, send. Okay, let's check here. Uh, this is a tland. So send then receive. So now tland receive this one from to tland and uh, linux and uh, this one this is a uh, webmail testing from kim at chol.com and here pilot file attachment as well and uh, let's go to the linux user okay linux so this one as well the receive webmail testing the user kim and uh, this one and file attachment like this so i'm successful to uh, configure web mail using the SQLite mail. So now let's uh, try to use uh, the SQLite mail, the plugins. Okay, then in the server system. Okay, then so let's check plugin. So in my case, the in this directory, you can see this kind of the plugins. So in my case, I download the address book backend. So here, check tar. After download the plugin from the Scrum Mail, the official website, then move in this directory. Okay, tar xpjf. Okay, so here. So now I can find this one, and after the calendar as well. Let's try to use the both. So here, let's go to config. Let's check comp here. Okay, let's go to the plugin number eight. So now this one already this uh, screen may support this kind of the plugin, but I want to add here address book backend template and the calendar. So in this case, number eight. So address book is added to the install the plugin and after that have a calendar number 10. Okay, so now there are I used this one. Okay, then save. And uh, how about okay save and the R. How about theme number five? Okay, number five. So here there are many kinds. One so if you want to change your the theme okay then the here l the list so you can see this kind of the list so in my case i will change it to the number five so here so this is a comment so in my case m will be five okay then d done and save Okay, R return. So save and cut. Okay, and after that, the service HTTPD restart. Okay, let's try to use this one. Now, this one is a change. Okay, look out. So you can see the change the theme. Okay, here, Kim login so theme is a change and here you can see the calendar as well so here in the web mail you can use calendar how about this one okay this one okay so here is you can see the calendar as well compose so here you can see the two kinds of plugin the theme and the uh, calendar in the okay so address book so address book you can see here address book template like this this is how to use the plugin on SQL mail 
Okay, chapter 11, the first fixed monitoring with the mail graph. Mail graph is a very simple mail statics, RLD tool, front and for first fix and send mail. This one normally produces daily, weekly, monthly, and the yearly graph for the receive or send email and bounced and rejected mail. Bounce mail means the returning to mail to sender. Okay. Download and installate mail graph and uh, etch.com here we can configure mail graph and the web server restart and mail graph as well. And uh, normally mail graph will save the information here, VAR library mail graph. And uh, if you want to use the mail graph the permanently, then register like this. Check config mail graph on. And uh, if we want to see the graph here. Okay, then let's test here. First one, please uh, check your package first. QA grab mail graph. So in my case, I already installed. So if you don't have, just like this. You install mail graph. Okay, in my case, I already installed. Okay, and after that, the service HTTPD restart. So here, etc. Let's check. So here, mail graph. So mail graph now deny from all, but uh, this one allow from local host. And in my case, I'm using this one 192.168.0. So here, I can access. Okay, and after that, service mail graph restart. Okay, then on here, list mail graph. So now, uh, run level 2345 is support mail graph. Okay, then let's click here in the client system. In the client system, here let's go to the. So here I can access the, the mail graph. So mail statics for server that child. And this is a host name of the server. So here, if you see this graph, so here you can see first one, last day last week and the last month and last year like this and the per each item there are two parts sent mail and received mail and after that here bounced virus spam and rejected for last week as well so last week in my case there is a rejected mail as well and the last month as well rejected and the bounced as well and the year, last year, not yet. So using this graph, you can check how many the emails sent and received and the some mail uh, bounced or buyers or spam rejected like this. Okay, so far I the explain the post fix monitoring with mail graph. In the part five, I will explain about the post fix authentication using SASL and TLS. See you next video.